Workers couldn't have asked for better conditions to start their first full day of maintenance at Carries Bay. The Monarch's new owner, Neil Haraway, says he's excited to give the boat a spruce up. So we just put the boat up on Thursday, so we're really just started. This is the first full day that the um, shipyard guys from Carries Bay Slipway have been into it, and it's really impressive. My first time, it looks like chaos, but it's highly organised chaos. Extensive work on the Monarch includes painting, replacing planks and soundproofing the engine room. Haraway estimates the repairs will cost about $10,000, money he believes is well spent. The Monarch comes out every year. It doesn't have to. It gets surveyed every two years. But because it's a passenger vessel, it's kept up to high standards. And um, also, water blasting and anti fouling the hull particularly every year helps with fuel efficiency. The Monarch has been operating out of Dunedin since 1985. And each year it takes more than 20,000 passengers to various locations, including Tyroa Heads. Cruise ship season is usually a peak time for the Monarch, but slightly fewer arrivals have affected business. However, Haraway says the boat is still popular, as it offers all sorts of people the chance to see wildlife up close. This is the only boat um, that's uh, doing regular wildlife cruises or scenic cruises on the harbour, and it's amazing. You go down the harbour, it's lovely, you get to the heads and it changes entirely. You know, suddenly you're, you're on the wild coast. Maintenance and repair work is expected to be finished by next Thursday and crew members are hoping the good weather holds for when they head out on the water again. John McKenzie, 39 Dunedin News.